Hi, hello from the Player Center for Performing Arts. My name is Jeffrey Kinn. I'm the Managing Artistic Director and Interim CEO. And you all have the best seat in the house because we are coming to you. This has been such a labor of love from a group of artists who currently aren't able to produce in our space. So thank you so much for this chance to entertain you. We'd like to thank our amazing sponsors, uh, Associa Gulf Coast, Core Marketing, ATAC Adjusters, Tannebaum Scro, Attorneys at Law. Thank you, we appreciate you. Uh, the players didn't get to be 90 years uh, without overcoming some adversity. So we so much appreciate this opportunity opportunity. We are going to keep going strong, but only with your support. So like us on Facebook. Uh, we have lots of things going on all the time. And also, it never hurts to check out our website at www.theplayers.org. So uh, thank you for having us. And now I'm going to ask Business Suit Jeffrey to take it away. Hello from the Player Center for Performing Arts. My name is Jeffrey Kinn. I'm the Managing Artistic Director and Interim CEO of this incredible organization. Why is it incredible? Well, we are going to share some of those reasons right now. Let's start with the incredible fact that we were born in 1929 right here in Sarasota. The Players, our legal name, The Players Inc., was born in 1929. A group of instructors from the Out of Door Academy got together and decided what this sleepy little town needs is the arts. Yes, The Players is the very first performing arts organization in Sarasota, and we are proud that it was a community theater that paved the way. We landed on this property in 1936, and this building that you see currently was built in 1974. Let's take a look. We like to say, if you haven't seen the Player Center lately, then you haven't seen us at all. Our lobby is spacious. We have art on the wall that is for sale to the entire community. And it's another way that the theater promotes all of the arts. Our concession stand with a full bar and our box office. We love hearing from our patrons that we have the friendliest box office in town. Hi. Yeah. She looks really friendly. Let's go into the theater. If you've sat in these seats before, thank you. And if you haven't, you've missed some amazing performances, just like this. Friends, but I have to know I still have a chance and maybe I'll make a painful mistake. It's mine though to take a refuse. And all of the doors get to open, all of the rooms ahead. They're beckoning bright, scary eyes. I'm walking through with God, maybe God, but I won't go on playing dead. It's time to start living the life I never planned. 
stuff. The one thing we can't do without are our volunteers. We have over 700 volunteers working hundreds of hours annually, all because they simply love the theater or the magic that it creates for everyone. Our volunteers do everything from ushering to carpentry, mailing to stitching. Every single actor that you see on our stage and every crew person behind the stage are volunteers as well. Son of a 
was the son of a preacher man. live. They actually take up this side of the floor and another floor and we still don't have enough room. Right here are a few of the costumes that have recently been featured on our stage. This costume right here I was lucky enough to wear in our production of Hello Dolly. I got to play Dolly Levi and this is the outfit that I wore during Before the Parade Passes By. Now right over here you're going to see a dress that is still in progress. This is one of Reno Sweeney's dresses for our upcoming production of Anything Goes. You can see she's going to be a gorgeous redhead and I cannot wait to see what this looks like when it's done. Now right over here is something very special. This is Queen Genesia's dress from our production of Head Over Heels. You'll notice it's actually in two different parts with very many different fabrics in it just to create that very unique colorful feel that the whole show encapsulated. I got a story that I like to tell And hey, I'm gonna need help to tell it well I got a story about fame and money And it's got more curves than a Playboy bunny I wanna live, not just survive I wanna tell my story live in living color 
specials up tonight. Yes, I'm loud in living cup. Life ain't lived in black and white. Ladies and gentlemen, the Frank Abigail Jr. Singers and Dancers. Enough, 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 folks. Listen, listen. By the time he was 20, he had stolen almost $1.8 million. He's a con man, plain and simple. Has been since he was 16 when he built his father's mobile account to buy presents for girls. When he got caught, his only excuse was? I like girls. Yeah. It's how these folks help. I like girls becomes unwanted on every continent. Your ability to pull men from manure is truly impressive. Thank you. Love in living couple, and it's brought to you by me. This won't fit in your TV. Ladies and gentlemen, my parents, Frank and Paula Abagnale. My parents met in France, a little village called Montrachard after the war. My father was a GI. My mother was young and beautiful. The people in that tiny French village had never even seen Americans. So they decided to put on a show for us. And they crammed 200 GIs into a tiny social hall, and the first person on stage is your mother. She starts to dance. The men are literally holding their breath. I look at my buddies and I say, I am not leaving France without that woman. I always get into trouble when I dance with you. I could watch them dance all night. Ah, uh, come on, Frank. I interview both your parents. Don't try to sell me some uh, incredible picture of domestic bliss. Uh -uh. With a special guest appearance by Playboy's Playmate of the Year, Cheryl Ann of something. I'm surprised you didn't use my first name. Look, you no good. Thank you, Cheryl Ann. Introducing a strong family to the beautiful, the sweet, faithful and true Brenda Strong and Mom and Dad. Look, Brenda, I've got the show to do. In fact, you're in it. You're actually one of the stars. Oh, Frank, I wouldn't do this for anyone else but you. Great. Well, you think you can wait over there until it's your time? Oh, Frank, I love you. I love you, too. Oh, yeah, come on, Frank. That's enough. Listen, I know this whole story, and I'm picking you in. All right, Mr. Hammer, let's make us a deal. If you let me finish, I'll tell you everything. I'll even tell you who I passed the bar exam in New Orleans. We know each other that much, don't you think? Oh, Mr. Hammer, you've got a deal. You're gonna love it, Carl. Yeah, I'll be the judge of that, Frank, or whatever it is you're calling yourself these days. Frank Taylor, Frank Williams, William Franklin Williams. What's her name? Just window dressing. Everybody knows that it's the clothes that make the man. Play the game. Just keep on guessing. Mix and match me. Try to catch me if you can. Oh, I know a story that's straight but true. So come fly with me for bird's eye view. I got the world in my command, and I'll be your one-man Disneyland. I don't know. This is our prop loft. This is where we keep all of our specialty props and set pieces when they're not in use during a show. Let's check it out.
sorry it took me so long. I was in the shower. Don't worry, ma'am. Happens all the time. What seems to be the problem? I'm just all clogged up. Uh, mm, ah, what, oh. In here. Uh, oh, oh, uh, uh, I thought you meant, uh, never mind. You're cute. You're, you're, you're still only wearing a towel. Oh, you know, I'm so sorry. I didn't know you were coming right now, but I really wanted to show you something. Uh, uh, you dropped this. No, you don't understand. This might help with the sink. No, no, it's okay. It's my job. How are you going to fix the pipes if you don't know what's wrong? No, Clara, no. Please, ma'am. But I have this big... I just... Oh, please, ma'am, please. Just, just cover up. All right. If you don't want to see what did it, then fine. Well, I didn't mean to offend you. Well, I guess I'll just get back to work then. Never had a woman throw herself at me like that before. Must be my lucky day. Hey, so what in the name of Drano is this? Ma'am, I think we found your problem. I see you found it. Well, I did. But what is it? Well, I was trying to show you that one of my pendants had come off. But you wouldn't let me. Well, well I'm sorry, ma'am. I, I, I thought that you were... No siree. What kind of woman do you think I am? Oh, no, but uh, I'm so sorry. Do you have a complaints card on you? I'll have to tell your manager you wouldn't accept a woman's help. Uh, I sure do, ma'am. I am so sorry. Anyway, thank you for fixing my pipes. Anytime, ma'am. My apologies. I'm sure I'll see you again. I always have trouble with my plumbing. Have a nice day. Center for Performing Arts and an acting instructor here at the Player Studio. The Player Studio is the education and outreach arm of the Player Center for Performing Arts and has been educating students in the community for about 25 years. The Player Studio promotes inclusive learning and upholds the ideals of equality and diversity 
while providing a safe environment for students of all ages and abilities to explore their creative side, strengthen life and social skills, and use different movement, fitness, voice, and dramatic disciplines to embrace mental, physical, and emotional health through the arts. The studio offers all styles of dance. Hip hop, jazz, tap, ballet, lyrical, as well as vocal and acting classes taught by local professionals. Classes range from beginner to advanced with students ranging in age from 2 to 92. The studio is busy year round with classes, summer camps, workshops, and our performance groups. These are audition only groups that start rehearsals in the fall and put on a show in the spring. We have a tap dance troupe called the Flash Tappers, the Players Follies for performers 55 and up, the Players Kids present a full musical at the end of the season, and the Players Teens present a full length straight play. These are the groups that perform at festivals and assisted living facilities in the area. Something that really makes us stand out is our no child is ever turned away for their inability to pay policy. The Building Better Grown Up Scholarship Fund allows students to attend classes and get the equipment they need. On average, the Player Studio Scholarships around 95 students annually, offering life-changing arts training to anyone that expresses interest. We're open to students of all ages and abilities. We'd love to see you at the studio. I'm looking for Oh Lord I pray you give me strength to carry on cuz I know what it means to walk along the lonely street of dreams Here I go again on my own going down the only road I've ever known like a drifter I was Another heart in need of rescue. Waiting on love, sweet charity. And I'm gonna hold on for the rest of my days. Cause I know what it means to walk along the lonely street of dreams. Here I go again on my own. don't run by themselves. We have an amazing board of directors. Thank you, studio team. I'm Donna DeFont. I am the chair of the board of trustees for the Player Center for Performing Arts, and we have an amazing board of trustees and some really great advisory council members. We are all really pleased and focused to be volunteers to ensure the fiscal responsibility and transparency of this wonderful 90-year-old organization. And here is another snippet from one of our amazing, wonderful productions. Thank you. 
I haven't seen anything like it, and I've been around a lot of years. I'll say. Don't start with me. No, I am agreeing with you. It is awful. It's a tragedy. Who would have thought that something like this could happen right here in our own backyard? Our own little piece of God's earth paved right over. Well, not if I can help it, Missy. I may be only the lowly secretary of this association, but if I have to, I will throw my weight around to squash this. Ah, oh, honey, I'll throw my weight around and I could really do some damage. <laughs> Don't mess with me, fellas. I've been to the rodeo. Oh, you go, mommy dearest. Hell hath no fury. Like a gay man scorned. I'll drink to that. What you got in there? Coffee. It's my special blend. <clears throat> Remind me not to light a match. <laughs> Good evening, ladies. Billy, what are we going to do about this problem? Like all the other problems, Charles, we'll discuss them when the meeting is in session. But this isn't a minor issue. This is a major issue. And I realize I'm just the lowly secretary. Later, I Carl. So much for throwing your weight around. Who's supplying the freshmen's tonight? Or is it BYOB? This is coffee, thank you very much. You're welcome very much, and I didn't ask what it was. Donna. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and what a fine one it is. Hello, Rabbi. Hello. Rabbi John, how is the world treating you tonight? The sun rises, the sun sets. Swiftly flow the days. Oh, he's so poetic. Tell you he ain't. <clears throat> Billy, what's on the agenda tonight? New tenant issues. Greetings, all. Here's some goodies. What's on the agenda tonight? What has gotten into everybody tonight? I just asked a simple question. We all know what's on the agenda. Missy over here won't let us discuss it until the meeting starts. Charles, I think you're making too much out of this. Oh, heavens, too much? Have you seen it? Yes, I have, and I think those cookies are gonna be delicious, Donna. Excellent as always, Donna, really. Great cookies. Oh, hello. Hi, hello. Hi there, I'm Donna. And please, at some point, help yourself to my cookies. I bake them my- Hi, I'm, I'm Roy Ralston, Condo 16. Is there a reason that I'm part of this agenda this evening? Uh, I'm supposed I'm summoned for a reason. I'm Billy. I'm the president of the association. This is Donna, the vice president, Chuck, the secretary, and Rabbi John is our treasurer. Not really a rabbi. He played the rabbi and filler on the roof years ago and just won't let it go. He's harmless, don't worry. Oh, nice to meet you all. I suppose if we're all here, we might as well get started. We have a new member, and I hate to start off on the wrong foot here, Roy, but there have already been several complaints lodged against you. Well, I just moved in. I'm not even all the way unpacked. What could I have done? Colors, my dear boy. The colors one chooses need to be cleared by the board. Well, <laughs> I'm not planning on painting the outside, and I haven't even, even painted my front door yet. That's not the problem. The problem is the color of your living room. My living room? Yes. My living room? People are complaining about the inside of my condo? I'm afraid so. You see, Ray. Roy, Roy, Roy. Roy, your condo faces the water. And all the people walking the loop around the lake can see that lime green color glowing like it's some sort of radioactive wasteland you're complaining about the color of the inside of my condo it's like a bad acid trip color yes we we all agree it's a horrific color leave me out of this one i'm colorblind you don't have any say about the interior color of my unit oh don't we the color is a menace. It's not natural. It's, it's lime green, for God's sake. Well, I'm not wanting to make a bad first impression, but it is my unit and I will paint it whatever color I please. 
And according to the bylaws, any disruptance or disturbance in the balance of the ecology of the community will be addressed by that council. Disruptance isn't even a word. You've got to be making this up. I say, I say. What? Let's all sit down. Good point, Rabbi John. Let's sit down and talk about this gentleman. Unfortunately, Roy, Charles isn't the only person who's disturbed by your choice of color. Therefore, it, it does come up to this, a meeting, discussion, and a decision. So you people have nothing better to do but to look into my windows and bitch about my colors. This is ridiculous. It is not ridiculous. It's the bylaws. The bylaws that you signed. I say we give him a break. He's new. He should be able to paint it however he chooses. The problem is, once we let one person ruin our peaceful oasis, then someone else will come along and they'll do it too. It's a vicious circle. I think you mean the domino effect. Domino effect, whatever, you know what I mean. So what you people are telling me is, is that the color of the inside of my condo is disturbing to the neighbors, so I have to change it. Exactly. Correct. Well, you people can just kiss my ass. <laughs> What's so funny? Watch out for that one. She's fond of fannies. <laughs> really? This is serious. As a heart attack. Roy, I know this may seem hard to believe, but they do have a case. This is the craziest thing I've ever heard. Do you people have nothing better to do? Maybe you should look at yourself for imperfections. Um, what do you mean by that? Well, her with the open container for one. She's always walking around with it. I know it ain't coffee. Uh, this is coffee, damn it! It's my own special blend. I say, I say, let's all sit down. Good suggestion, Rabbi. People pointing fingers and throwing insults won't get us anywhere. Let's calmly discuss this. Oh, I'm not calmly doing anything. This place is filled with lunatics. If you think for one minute I'm changing that color, you are sadly mistaken. Well, once the petition is signed, you'll have two weeks before we begin levying fines. You're fining me? No one's fining anyone. We're just talking about options. And the first option is painting over that hideous color. Hideous? Hideous? You know what I think is hideous? That dye job on your hair. I'm going to start a petition about that. It's not natural. It disturbs me. No, you dare. No, no, no. No, no, no. I can fight my own battles, Missy. Listen, you what? expert. What? Let her talk. Come on, whiskey breath. Bring it on. This is coffee, damn it. I say, I say. I know, I know. Let's, Let's all, all sit down. Sit down. Oh. I'm not listening to another second of this. Wait, I know you think I'll, I'll think I'm crazy, that I think I'm a real rabbi. I know I'm not. But once I moved here and started doing theater, I finally felt alive. I joined a cast and what did I learn? Fiddler on the roof? Sounds crazy, no? But here in this little condo complex, we are, each and every one of us, a fiddler on the roof, trying to scratch out a pleasant, simple tune without breaking our necks. It isn't easy. You may ask, why do we stay up there if it's so dangerous? We stay up there because this is our home. And how do we keep our balance? No, not tradition, but the other lesson from that musical, family. I've never had a family, and the minute I arrived here, with all our differences and unique qualities, I found home, Arhenetevka. So, young man, please don't leave in anger. I say, speaking for the group, welcome to our family, and I hope this complex makes you half as happy as it's made me. Oh, thank you for sharing. By John? Yes. Well, that was beautiful. I mean, really, I, I agree, Rabbi John, we are really blessed. Thank you. Really. <clears throat> now back to the task at hand. What are we going to do about the color of that condo?